If you believe in something, you need to try really hard and go the extra mile because things get hard and stuff. And, uh, yeah, and, um, remember to believe in yourself. Brush your teeth. Oral hygiene is very important. Floss and then use mouthwash. Keep going after your dreams like you're going up a mountain. You will feel, <laughs> it will be the most, yeah, and something motivational. There's no doubt that the super smart engineers over at Apple and Samsung and all the phone companies are doing a spectacular job making these little pocket sized cameras awesome. But even with all this crazy alien Elon Musk technology built into these things, it's still only a little camera shake away from looking like a crappy Instagram story. The solution, gimbals. But there's way too many phone gimbals out there and honestly, they're all the freaking same. I get an email like every week saying, hey, can we send you our new innovative phone gimbal? No, don't stop, stop. They're all the same with one new like gimmicky little feature that no one's really gonna use. I saw this one where you put your phone on the gimbal and you take another phone and then you can control the gimbal's position through this other phone with an app. Oh cool, I mean it's one of those features where you show your friends and they're like, wow, that's really neat that you could do that even though you'll never use it. I mean, come on, we're shooting on our phone. What's gonna happen is I'm gonna take my phone, put it in a gimbal and then I'm gonna be like, hey, Chris Rollins, can I borrow your phone? And he's gonna be like, oh bro, my phone's dead because I'm so irresponsible. How about you, Maddie Hapoya? Let me use your phone to control this gimbal. And he'll be like, well, I don't have the app and I can't install it right now because we have no reception because I brought you guys to some magical Norwegian cliff. And I really just can't think of a time where you're like, oh, I can't use my phone gimbal like I normally would. So I have to put it down and let me connect this other phone to it and I'm gonna get it, install the app. And then now I can pan left and right. But I mean, you're gonna be right there anyways. You can't see what you're recording unless you're like a few feet away from your phone. You know, it's just, it's just it, why? Plus all of them have the same feature, some maybe a little bit more reliable. They're, they're all pretty much the same. So with all that being said, I was like, no more phone gimbal reviews. So then Freefly was like, hey, you wanna test out our gimbal? And I was like, send it to me now. Here she is, ladies and gentlemen. I don't work for Freefly. This is not a paid sponsorship. I'm allowed to say whatever the hell I want. C Connecticut microwave lamp. Now, if you have any idea on who FreeFly is, you'd understand why I needed to get my hands on this gimbal. Let's just put it this way. FreeFly is not the type of company that likes to f around, okay? If they're gonna make a phone gimbal, they're gonna make it the best damn phone gimbal. I mean, they created the original Movi, which was the very first handheld electronic gimbal out there. They still make the best, most used, most reliable gimbal for cinema cameras that everyone uses in Hollywood. Anyways, let's open this guy up. I love how when you open it, it's just like a ninja, like, let's go. It's kind of boxy post along, which makes it a little bit easier to pack into a suitcase or a backpack, I think. Now it's plastic, which is cool, but it feels like a very high quality plastic. So I like it. It's nice and lightweight, feels really durable. And the little things make it cool. I mean, look at this phone clamp here. I love that. Super simple to snap your phone in and get it balanced right away. Immediately you notice that this doesn't look like every other phone gimbal that you've seen, right? That's what I'm talking about. FreeFly doesn't just copy what everyone else is doing. Now one-handed operation just right here feels really good just like that, but you can get a more stable shot by putting two hands on it. It may not look like it, but when you have the second hand on it, you have that phone nice and close to that center of gravity, you feel like you have a lot more control. All this is rubber, by the way, so it's very comfortable. Like this feels really, really good. And this feature is really awesome. You're using it, you're using it, you're done shooting, you just bloop, and then it just shuts off. It locks this arm into place so it's not swinging around and it turns off all the mortar. So you could take it, lock it, set it down, or put it away for a second. And then when you want to activate again, you just plop it right back up and you're up and running. I love that you don't have to go and mess with buttons to just turn it off temporarily, just doof and then it's off. You have a USB-C cable here, which is awesome. My MacBook charges off this cable. So does my GoPros. This is becoming more and more universal. So I like that. All right, so why don't we take this outside and see what this cinema robot can do.
Now, after using this Movi Cinema Robot for a little while, it was basically just as good as I was hoping it would be. It's super simple and easy to use, so if you've never used a gimbal before, don't worry, you'll be able to pick this thing up and use it within minutes. But the beauty of this thing is that you could just take the phone that's in your pocket right now, and just by giving it some smooth, cool motion, you could turn it into something that seems like a whole lot more. Now, as awesome as this gimbal is, one thing to keep in mind is that it is a premium product. FreeFly does not make cheap shit. I believe this is about $299 or somewhere in that price range. But if you want one gimbal that you're gonna hold on to for a long time, you know it's gonna last and it's gonna work well, I'd probably go for this one. And since it's from FreeFly, you have that reassurance that it's been tested, it's gonna last, it's gonna work well. We also tested this out on my buddy's iPhone 8 Plus, works just fine. And I believe it's gonna work with the XS Plus that's just about to come in. So you can use this gimbal for many different sizes of phones. Anyways, continuing the hike. Whoa, this bench is creaky. But here's one thing that I actually find really, really useful after using this for a little bit is check this out. Ready for it? Oh. <laughs> you know, you use any other gimbal and use it for a few minutes. You're like, wow, I really want to be able to place this down somewhere without worrying about it tipping over. So then you attach these little tripod feet onto it, even though it extends that gimbal so it's even longer and then it's harder to store. This just straight out of the box, just boom, set it down wherever you want. It's a lot of these little things that make this so awesome. There's a smart tripod mode, very, very simple, but super useful. How often have you taken a phone and try to balance it on something to try to get a shot at something? You don't have to do that anymore. You just set this down, check this out. Another feature that's awesome is time-lapse mode. So let's head over to there. We're gonna take this, we're gonna take the target length of the clip, maybe compress it down to, let's say nine times. It's gonna take a minute and 30 seconds to film this 10 second time-lapse. Okay, I'm gonna adjust the exposure here. Let's start off at the floor here. I'm gonna hit the trigger right up here. So I'm gonna hit that button and then you have your A set. And then we're gonna move our camera and we're gonna end it off right there. B set and it's ready. Hit that trigger. It is getting a time lapse. It's gonna take a minute and 30 seconds to do. We're gonna see if Dylan could hold perfectly still for a minute and 30 seconds. Let's check that back. <laughs> That's kind of ridiculous, but awesome. There's also cool features like movie lapse where you can take it and you can walk with it to get a time lapse and it just dampens all your movement so that in a time lapse when it's super sped up, it doesn't look all jerky. You could also do a barrel roll, which is becoming kind of trendy right now and it's fun to sprinkle that in once in a while. There's also orbit where your phone will rotate at a constant speed so you can get that super smooth constant rotation around a subject. Let's talk about this movie app for a second. Now you don't really need the app. If you don't have the app, you can still turn this on and by default, Fall, this Movi will turn into majestic mode, which is basically what most people are going to be using a majority of the time. But to get access to all these buttons and extra controls and smart features, then that's when you want that app. Now, when you first install it, it comes on just standard basic mode, which is super simple to use. And once you start mastering the gimbal a little bit more, then that's when you can switch over to ninja mode that gives you access to all this extra stuff. And I love this interface. I love how on the right hand side, you can instantly change your resolution between HD, 4 4K, and then you can tap to switch between your frame rates, 24, 30, 60, 120, 240 on this phone. And I love how quick that is. I mean, I feel like the iPhone's standard app should just have that. I hate how difficult it is to switch between HD and 4K and different frame rates on this phone. It sucks. So the fact that I have easy, quick access to all those things right here on the phone, awesome. They must have researched all the most frequently used functions and put it right here within like one button of a press. So you can brighten, darken a shot, you can flip it into selfie mode and also check your last clip all with one button. And then you can hit that record button right here and a trigger that you can program. I have mine programmed to freeze. As soon as I find that perfect angle, I just hit that and the phone's angle will just freeze in that specific location. So I no longer have to worry about where the phone is angled. I could just move it and I know the camera is gonna be facing that direction I want. And of course, by now you guys must know that it is not a proper potato jet review without my favorite part, the trash talking. So let's do this. The biggest drawback is no matter how good this gimbal is, you're still shooting on a phone and we've talked many times in the past about the limitations of a phone. Yes, you can get awesome visuals out of it, but there's also a lot of restrictions with like highlight roll off and low light and all that. But the cool part is that even a few generations later, I'm still expecting to be able to use that future iPhone 15 on this gimbal. Okay, so let's talk about some of these accessories real quick. This is the hoodie, which is an accessory mount, which allows you to put things like this microphone on here or a light 
right? First of all, it's really easy to just slide right on like that, but to attach it, you need to take this rubber O-ring seal and tighten it against this little latch. And once you put this sucker on, it's not gonna come off. It's so difficult to take off. I put a little piece of tape on there to help me take it off, helps a ton. And I have heard that all their new ones will have a little tab on it. So this should be less of an issue. My next complaint is this mount right here. Why is this just not a standard hot shoe mount? If it was a hot shoe, you can just slide it in and out easily, secure it, and you don't have to worry about it like slightly rotating or anything like that. Second, to attach an accessory is a pain. Like if I wanted to attach this microphone, first of all, I have to take this thing off, which like I said, is impossible. And then you have to take a screw that might get lost by the way. I actually lost mine. And then you have to slap it back on, which is kind of cumbersome considering first of all, you need a tool and I wish it was just a hot shoe, like I said, so I could just slide it on and be done with it. My next complaint is actually a big one, but it's not towards this gimbal specifically. It's just more towards gimbals combined with iPhones all across the board. The optical image stabilization on these phones, they're great for if you're hand holding it. It's great at countering a lot of these little shakes, but it's not good at certain vibrations. If I tap the phone right here, right by the camera, you can see it and it's actually working against me. It's not really designed to counter these like fine vibrations, but more like big movements. As you step and walk with it, sometimes the vibrations from your step can send a little vibration into the phone and it actually screws up the image stabilization. And you can't completely turn it off, which kind of screws it up a little bit because you have this doing an excellent job stabilizing it. But then the optical image stabilization in here is like trying to do some weird thing and it counters that effect. And here's a couple of examples. You can see that it just has this like weird jello-y effect. If we can just turn off the image stabilization on here and have this do all the work, then it'll come out nice and clean. But the issue is you can't simply do that. The hack that people have been doing is taking a magnet and actually putting it up to the camera on this side and the magnet will naturally just stick to the phone like this and it would lock the image stabilization in place and you're gonna have much less of those jitter issues. And it actually makes a pretty huge difference. There's a bunch of videos on it. So just look up phone, magnet, image stabilization and that should give you a bunch of results. But again, this is not a complaint towards Movi. This is a complaint towards phones on gimbals, period. Another advantage the Movi Cinema Robot has is that it can take accessories and still balance kind of like this wide angle lens. A lot of you guys love the moment lenses. To use those, you do need an accessory, which is this counterbalance setup. But once you do, it pushes the phone out, which is good because this wide angle lens is gonna make this gimbal mortar more visible. So it pushes it out more this way, gives that lens a little bit more clearance. And if you have moment lenses, then I believe they work very closely with Movi to make sure that their lenses work seamlessly with this robot and counterbalance. To me, it feels like a pretty big step up from all the other phone gimbals out there. So I'm digging this. I should be getting my iPhone XS Plus in the mail on Friday. So I'll be making more videos with this guy and the new phone and other cameras, all this other stuff later down the line. That's it. I'm out. This video is over 10 minutes. Woo! I did it. Sweet. I'm out. Peace.